watching the game go by. Where are you spiritually? Are you actually on the water with Jesus? Let me tell you this this morning. If you're going to be with Jesus, you're going to have to get on the water because that's where Jesus is. Jesus is on the water. If you're going to be with Him, you're going to have to get on the water. I heard someone talking one time about these disciples and they were saying, you know, they were describing them as unlearned men, ignorant men, men with no training, no, 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 they didn't have the benefits of Bible training or seminary training or any of this and yet they turned the world upside down. And when I heard them saying this, I thought to myself, well, that's just a bunch of malarkey because that just isn't true. Yeah, I know they were fishermen. I know that they were tax collectors. They came from the various avenues of life. But you know what? I did four years of college. And then I did three years of seminary, getting a master's. And then I did some work beyond that on a, a doctorate. And I would trade all of that for what they have. They walked three years with Jesus. What better education could you get than that? I mean, if you're going to be a, a preacher or you're going to learn theology, how could you? I don't have any professor I've ever had who could have taught like Jesus did. They walked with Him. And it had to be so exciting to walk with Jesus because you never knew what a, a layman might get up and walk. You never knew what a blind man would suddenly begin to see. You never knew whether uh, 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 somebody was dead would come to life again. You never knew whether you might actually get to walk on water. That's what Jesus did. And that's where Jesus was. It seems to me that it's always so easy to sit in the boat because it's safe there. It doesn't require any faith. And we can be safe in the boat even if Jesus isn't in there. And it seems to me that that's where so many churches are. Why isn't it safe? It doesn't take any faith. And Jesus doesn't even have to be there. And the church can still go on. Playing it safe, sitting in the stands, sitting in the boat, when Jesus is out on the water. And I want to ask you a question this morning. What kind of a church do you want to be? Do you want to be a church that just plays it safe? Or do you want to actually get out on the water and walk on water? You say, I can't walk on water. No, you can't. Neither could Peter. Peter had never done it before. In fact, every time after the night, there's a count later where Peter sees Jesus on the shore. So he gets out to go to the shore to see him. And it says he just stepped over the side. Well, that time he just sank all the way down. That's what he'd always done before when he got out of the boat. You know, what you always do, you've got the river down here and stuff. I'm sure some of you go out in it on boats. If you step over the side, you always just go down, don't you? He never walked on water before either. Because it wasn't in him to do it. But I'll tell you what made the difference. Jesus was there with him. And Jesus had the power to cause him to walk on water. And when he began to sink, Jesus reached down and lifted him up again. Jesus wasn't going to let him sink. And I want to say to you this morning that if you've got faith enough to get out on the water and walk on water with Jesus, He will not let you sink. And you can do it. But it takes faith. It doesn't take faith to stay in the boat. And I don't know about you, but I, I, I don't want to just sit in the boat. I want to walk, don't you? I, I want to walk on water. I, I want to be a part of a church that walks on water. I, I'm tired of sitting by the side and watching churches like Ginghamsburg and Cedar Creek and some of those churches walk on water. 
while I sit in the boat. God wants us to walk. If we're going to be where Jesus is, we've got to get on the walk. And we've got to hear his voice when he says, come, walk with me. And we can't say, well, Lord, I, I've never done that before. Can't you just hear somebody in the boat? I can just hear somebody in that boat say, Peter, don't go out there. We've never done it this way before. Can't you just hear that? You know, people haven't changed in 2,000 years, have they? We've never done it this way before, Peter. Don't you get out of that boat. Oh, listen. You'll never know the joy of walking with Jesus until you get out of the boat. And you'll never know the victory that faith can give to you if you don't get out of the boat. And the last thing in the world you want is to end your life and stand before God. There was no grass on your uniform. Lord, don't give me a robe that's just white. Give me a robe that's stained and scarred and marred. Follow where you lead, Father, and may, Lord, our lives be embedded in you. Holy Spirit, empower us to walk on water, Father. Empower us to be your church, to take the gifts that you've given to us, Lord, and may we surrender them to you and under your power and your, your anointing, Lord. May we walk with victory. And Lord, we know we may get beat up a little bit. We might get scarred. We might be martyred. We might be marred, Father. Like Peter, there might be times when our faith just isn't all that it should be and we begin to sink. But Lord, may we then feel your hand raising us up. Give us victory and give us faith, we pray. We ask you in thy name.